My name is Scott Moore. I'm the owner of Bellevue Fine Art Reproduction, and I'm going to walk you through our scanning process for fine art scanning. The first thing we do is we have clients fill out an inventory release form that states the title of the pieces of artwork, the sizes, the values, and uh, the work order um, before we begin our scanning. Once we get into the scan can camera room, uh, the very first thing we do is we align the camera with the wall using a laser to make sure that it's perfectly parallel with the area that we're going to be scanning. Then we put up a color card and we balance the camera to make sure that our colors are going to be good for that particular photo shoot. What we're using here is um, the software that comes with the Better Light HK scanner, which is the scanner that we use. Oftentimes people are confused, they think it's a, a camera, but in fact it's an optical scanner. So what we're doing here using the software on uh, the screen of our computer here is we're um, balancing the uh, gray points, making sure that our white values and black, va black values are exactly correct. And then using the focus cards on the wall, we're focusing the camera here um, to make sure that our artwork is going to be perfectly in focus. Once we have everything uh, focused here and we're happy with the colors, um, we also check uh, the polarization on our lens. We use a cross-polarizing system, um, particularly for uh, very shiny artwork, uh, oil paintings, acrylic paintings, etc. Um, and we set the polarization value using our polarization card uh, to what we want. Once that's finished, we put up a white card and we uh, look at the entire area that we're going to be scanning with a white sheet and what we're looking for is uniform values in our lighting uh, first of all to make sure that our lights are perfectly set up as you can see um, and this is true with uh, most lighting situations you're going to have some light fall off um, around the corners and so what we're doing is we're trying to minimize that light fall off but we're also going to be taking a picture of this white card uh, we're going to be scanning it and we'll use that later on with a piece of software we have called Equalite, which um, balances out the lighting across the picture to remove that light fall off um, in the corners that you can see there. Uh, we're saving the file here and preparing it for later use uh, when we'll open up Equalite. <clears throat> Files um, using the Better Light can be very large. Uh, full scan is about 750 megabytes um, at 16 bit. Moving on to the artwork here, um, we have a couple pieces here by Jaime Carrillo uh, that we're shooting today. And uh, we're getting the artwork in place. And as you can see, we can oftentimes shoot more than um, one piece of artwork in a scan. In this case, we're, we're going to scan two pieces of artwork at one time. And when we're finished with that, we'll um, separate them into separate files and then go on to color proofing. Um, there we go. The file is saved. As you can see, it, it, it's obviously not this fast at all. We've sped this up uh, for the video. This whole process right there takes about um, 10 or 15 minutes. Um, generally, when the scan runs, we'll get up and leave the room. Um, once that's done here, we import it into Equalite, and um, we're looking at our white card there, and then we're going to find the paintings um, that we've just scanned. And what we're going to do is a, a light balance using this software um, to make sure that we've got uniform lighting across the file before we start our editing process. Each and every file that we scan takes quite a bit of editing. Um, even if it's just a black and white drawing, there's a lot that goes into it. There's a lot that goes into even just things like pencil drawings. People um, often think that uh, since there's a lack of color, that the editing will be easy. But there really is um, still quite a bit to go into it um, to make sure all your white points and black points are correct and that your um, scan is good, that you've got a good sharp scan. So we've opened the files here um, that we just scanned in Photoshop. Um, and what we're doing is we're running um, a, a few things that we do on all the files that uh, come out of the scanner. There's an unsharp mask. We 
convert the ICC profile over to Adobe RGB 1998 because um, our camera has special profiles that we build. Uh, we build our own ICC profiles around the different settings um, that we have and the different curves that we've made for the camera. Um, and so we uh, convert the profile over to Adobe RGB 1998 so that when the clients get them that um, it's a, a working space that people are familiar with. Um, here we're going to create a new file here now that we've we're going to start to separate the files. Um, we're going to name this one and then what will be its final name and um, click OK and paste the image into our new file. It's very important to get the naming conventions correct. Um, we ask clients to name their files before we start scanning them. Um, the reason is that uh, once we start the scanning process, uh, the name gets propagated throughout different files that cr we create for print um, and on the web as well. So if we get a file name wrong or the artist changes their title uh, later on, that makes things more difficult. Here you can see we're zooming in on the file um, to look at the detail. Um, checking for detail before we uh, begin the proofing process. At this point, um, we're going to look at our levels. We're going to look at the colors on screen and do screen um, color matching. And um, once we think we're happy, we're going to start by um, printing a proof. We'll then compare that proof with the original. And if adjustments need to be made, um, then we'll start to make the adjustments there. Here you can see we've just printed our first proofs. We're looking at the colors um, and we're looking at them compared to the original. Um, and what we'll do is we'll go through um, the images with a fine tooth comb now and uh, then we'll have the artist come in and approve the proofs and we'll begin um, printing. That's about it. That's how we do our scanning here at Bellevue Fine Art Reproduction. Um, and that is uh, an overview of our scanning process. Thanks.